Your immune system protects you by fighting infections and foreign bodies. Your immune system will recognize a newly transplanted organ as a foreign body and will fight against it. Medications called immunosuppressive drugs are used to prevent your body from rejecting your newly transplanted organ. You will need to take immunosuppressive medications for your lifetime. These medications are very expensive, costing between $2,000 and $4,000 every month. You will need to work with your financial coordinator to develop a sound insurance and financial plan to cover the cost of these medications. As a transplant recipient, you will begin taking new medications the day of or the day after your transplant. You will take medications to prevent rejection, to prevent infection, and other medications as well. You will need to take some combination of medications for the remainder of your life or your kidney will fail. All medications have possible side effects. Here is a list of side effects associated with your transplant medications. You are not likely to have all the side effects or have them all at a high intensity. If you have any concerns about your side effects, you should discuss your concerns with your transplant nurse. Many of the medications must be tapered or slowly reduced. Do not independently withdraw from taking any medication. Discuss any concerns you have with your transplant nurse or physician. To prevent rejections, you will take a combination of three medications after surgery. Prednisone, which is a steroid, mycophenolate, cyclosporin, or tacrolimus. Due to their anti-inflammatory and immunosuppressive properties, steroids have been a main component in the immunosuppressive regimen for the prevention and treatment of acute rejection after kidney transplantation. Prolonged exposure to steroids results in significant side effects, which include worsening cholesterol levels and high blood pressure, the development of post-transplant diabetes mellitus, weight gain, and osteoporosis. While our standard protocol is designed to minimize these effects by keeping the maintenance steroid dosage low, some patients may be interested in an alternative steroid-free approach. Not all patients qualify for the steroid-free protocol. Patients who are concerned about using steroids are encouraged to discuss this with their transplant physician during their appointment. Mycophenolate, Mofetil, or Celsept, and mycophenolate sodium, or myfortic, are medications used in combination with tacrolimus or cyclosporin. Their main toxicities are diarrhea and suppression of bone marrow. These medications could cause serious harm to a fetus if taken while pregnant. Women of childbearing ages should have a negative pregnancy test within a week of starting this medication and should use two forms of contraception unless abstinence is the chosen method. They should begin the two forms of contraception four weeks before beginning the medications, continue during therapy, and for six to 12 weeks after they stop taking the medication. If you have any questions regarding these medications or pregnancy, please discuss it with your transplant coordinator or physician. Valcite is a very expensive medication, approximately $1,500 a month, which may be indicated to treat or prevent infection. This medication may or may not be covered by insurance. You must learn about each of your new medications before you can be discharged from the hospital. You will need to know the drug name, the purpose of the medication, the side effects, and the dosages of each medication. The nursing staff will work with you and your caregiver to develop a self-medication schedule. Your support person must participate in learning about your medications. To ensure you can safely manage your own medications at home, you and your support person will be quizzed to demonstrate your knowledge about your medications prior to discharge.